If you haven't seen it already, back in February of this year, an ultra-rare deep-sea anglerfish was spotted off the coast of Tenerife. It was captured on video, slowly swimming up to the surface in shallow waters. And you may be thinking, aren't these fish in the deepest part of the ocean, and why is it so close to the surface? Well, based on the video, it could be because of sickness or injury, or even old age. But the capture one on the video this clear is definitely rare for wildlife photographers. Also, one thing to note, this fish looks very big, but in reality, get this, it was only 6 inches long. Ever since this happened, I've been wanting to make a very special video on this unique deep sea creature. So here it goes. Get ready to know everything about the deep sea anglerfish. The deep ocean covers more than 60% of Earth's surface. That's more area than all the continents combined. And yet we know more about the surface of Mars than what we do about these waters. If Earth were shrunk to the size of a basketball, the biosphere, the zone where life exists, would be thinner than a sheet of paper. And the vast majority of that life, in terms of sheer space, is deep underwater. So, when we talk about the deep sea, we're not just talking about a distant corner of the planet. We're talking about Earth's largest ecosystem. But this ecosystem is unlike any other. In the upper ocean, sunlight powers a food chain. Tiny algae and phytoplankton absorb solar energy and form the base of life as we know it. But below, in this eternal darkness, there is no sunlight, no photosynthesis, no plants, not even algae. The answer is death. Dead plankton, fish scales, whale carcasses, feces, and slime. This all rains down through the water column in a slow, steady fall called marine snow. A snowflake here might take weeks to reach the bottom, and it scavenged every step of the way. For many deep sea creatures, including the anglerfish, this organic snowfall is their only link to the world above. It's a world where every speck of energy is precious, where hunger is constant, and success is really rare. But food isn't only the challenge. Pressure in these zones can exceed 5,800 pounds per square inch, equivalent to having an elephant stand on your thumb. A human would be crushed instantly. Metal implodes. Some marines must be reinforced like space capsules. But anglerfish, they thrive here. Their secret lies in softness. Unlike surface fish, anglerfish don't have rigid skeletons or air-filled swim bladders. Their flesh is gelatinous, their organs are loose and compressible, and their bones are very thin. This squishiness may seem grotesque, but it's the key to surviving in the most pressurized environment on Earth. In this world, speed is a luxury few can afford. The deep sea is low on calories. Most creatures move slowly, conserving every drop of energy. Predators can't afford to chase. Prey can't afford to flee. Instead, nature favors ambush, camouflage, and deception. This is why the anglerfish's glowing lore is such a stroke of genius. In a world where movement gives you away, light becomes a perfect bait, but we'll get to that. Though isolated, the anglerfish is not alone. Sharing this abyss are vampire squid, which eject glowing mucus instead of ink, cob jellies that ripple with iridescent light, and glass octopuses, nearly invisible. And drifting through it all are microscopic creatures that feed on the marine snow and fuel their entire deep sea food chain. Yet among these beings, the anglerfish stands out, not just for its gruesome looks, but for its precision. It does not glow randomly, it does not wander, it waits, suspended in the void, calculating, patient, and perfectly still. Deeper still lies the abyssal zone, below 4,000 meters, and beyond that, the haddle zone, named after Hades, the underworld. Some anglerfish have been found at depths approaching 5,000 meters. There, the temperature hovers near zero degrees Celsius, and the pressure could crush steel. No light has ever reached this place, not even during the age of dinosaurs. The anglerfish evolved not in twilight, but internal light. To the human eye, the anglerfish may look like a creature from a nightmare, a gaping mouth lined with translucent needles, a swollen, bloated body, tiny sunken eyes, and dangling from its head, a glowing appendage that flickers with cold fire. The most iconic feature of the anglerfish is its bioluminescent lore, a modified dorsal spine called the lysium, ending in a flashy bulb known as the esca. It dangles like a fishing rod above the anglerfish's mouth, swaying gently in the water. This isn't just a decoration, it's a biological flashlight powered by bacteria. Inside the esca lives colonies of bioluminescent symbioids, specialized bacteria that emit a cold, ghostly glow. These bacteria don't occur naturally in the anglerfish's body. Young anglerfish must acquire them from the environment, and once inside the esca, the fish keeps them alive with a constant flow of nutrients and oxygen. In return, the bacteria glow, irresistible to small fish, shrimp, and squid, who mistake the light for prey, until it's too late. Some species might even wiggle the lure, mimicking the movements of worms or injured fish. Others have elaborate, leaf-like appendages that flicker with movement, 
The illusion is just perfect. The anglerfish doesn't chase, it waits, perfectly still. The body floats neutrally in the water, neither rising nor sinking, until something takes the bait. Then, in a burst of terrifying speed, it lunges. The jaws are massive, proportionately larger than its own head, and they're hinged, capable of opening wider than its entire body. The teeth are long, thin, and translucent, backward facing like fish hooks, designed not to pierce but to trap. Once something enters the mouth, there's no escape. The prey slides deeper with every struggle, and what the anglerfish can't bite, it swallows whole. Its stomach is very expandable, allowing it to devour creatures up to twice its own size. In the deep sea, meals are rare, so when food comes, it pays to eat big. Most species of anglerfish are short, their muscles are underdeveloped, their skeletons are lightweight, even incomplete. Some species have no pelvic fins, they rarely swim, most simply hover or drift, conserving energy. Their skin is often molded or slimy, sometimes covered in spines or bumps, helping break up their silhouette. In total darkness, this camouflage isn't just hiding from vision, it's about breaking up shapes and bioluminescent light cast by other animals. Their eyes are very small, often functionally blind, but tuned to see blue light, the only wavelength that penetrates so deeply. Some species don't rely on sight at all. Instead, they detect motion and electrical signals through sensitive lateral lines and pressure-sensitive pits in the skin. But perhaps the strangest aspect of the anglerfish anatomy is this. Everything we described so far is female. The deep sea anglerfish exhibits one of the most extreme sexual dimorphisms in animal kingdom. Females are the monstrous predators. Males, they're tiny, toothless, barely capable of independent life. A typical male anglerfish is one-tenth of the size of a female, small, slender, and born with one mission, find a mate before he starves. Anglerfish isn't just one species, it's a superfamily, encompassing over 160 known species, each more bizarre than the last. Some have glowing lores and branching filaments, some have transparent skin or parasitic males permanently fused to their mates. Some are squat and ugly, others look like drifting jellyfish. Some live at 500 meters, others at 5,000. One species, the humpback anglerfish, was the first deep sea anglerfish ever filmed alive in 2014. Just nine centimeters long, but more terrifying than anything in a horror movie. So yes, the anglerfish is ugly, distorted, and alien-like. But every ugly feature, every dangling lore, and every glassy tooth is a story of evolution, a blueprint for life in a world most of us will never see. For centuries, the anglerfish only existed in a myth. It was a whisper in sailors' tales, and a strange skeleton brought up in nets. It wasn't until the late 19th century, when deep sea trowels first scraped the sea floor, that scientists even realized these bizarre creatures were real. And yet, for most of the 20th century, the anglerfish remained little more than a preserved mystery dead, deflated, and mishappened by pressure change. Studying the anglerfish in its natural state, in full motion, alive, and glowing in the deep sea, was a challenge that took over a century to meet. Most of what we knew about the anglerfish came from trawl nets, massive fishing devices that dragged across the ocean floor for samples, but what came up was hardly intact. Pressure changes caused deep sea animals to rupture or bloat. Their organs collapsed, their colors faded, and bioluminescence was vanished. Scientists were left with shrunken corpses, often missing the glowing lore that made them famous. Yet even from these remnants, naturalists pieced together their strange biology. Still, all of this was reconstruction, imagination, and guesswork. The real anglerfish, the living predator, remained unseen. In the 1960s and 70s, the deep sea opened for exploration. With manned submersibles like Alvin, scientists could finally descend to the abyss. But even here, the anglerfish proved elusive. Most deep sea species are fragile and reclusive. The presence of a large glowing humming submersible sends them fleeing into the darkness. Anglerfish, small and slow moving, are especially hard to spot. It was like trying to photograph a firefly in a canyon while floating in a submarine the size of a van. So, scientists changed tactics. The true revolution came with roves, remotely operated vehicles. These robot explorers can descend thousands of meters into the ocean, equipped with high-definition cameras, mechanical arms, delicate suction devices, and even gentle collection chambers. They're quieter than subs, smaller, more agile, and they can stay down for hours at a time. Roves allow scientists to observe anglerfish in sight, alive, growing, hunting, and drifting in the natural presence of the abyss. For the first time, researchers could see how the anglerfish used their lures, how they floated, and how their gelatinous bodies moved through water like ghosts. In 2014, something extraordinary happened. 
At the depth of 600 meters off the coast of California at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute captures something no one has ever seen before, a deep sea anglerfish, alive and in motion. The species was a humpback anglerfish, also known as the black sea devil. For just about 30 seconds, it drifted in front of the ROV's lights, its lure glowing faintly and its mouth dark crescent of razors. The footage, grainy but surreal, was the first glimpse humanity ever had of the creature as it truly is. It became a sensation, viral online, played in classrooms, shared on science shows, the Black Sea Devil had emerged from myth into memory. But even seeing him alive is just one piece of the puzzle. Scientists want to study the anglerfish in detail, organs, muscles, skeletons, and the brain structure. But remember, bringing one to the surface alive is nearly impossible. The pressure change alone can kill a deep sea fish in seconds. So, researchers turned to other tools, CT scans and MRI imaging for frozen specimens, 3D modeling of internal structures, DNA sequencing to unlock their evolutionary code, and pressure simulation chambers to preserve biological function as close to native conditions as possible. And now, with environmental DNA, also known as eDNA sambling, researchers can even detect an anglerfish's presence by simply analyzing water for trace genetic material. In the end, the anglerfish is not just a predator with light, it is the light, a flicker in the void, a spark in the endless dark, a strange glowing thread connecting us to a world we barely understand. And as we continue to explore our oceans to peer deeper into the shadows, we will find more creatures like it, but none quite like this one. The anglerfish is not just a creature of the abyss, it is the spirit of the abyss, mysterious, silent, ancient, and alive. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching.